Hello, it's Sarah. And this is Maya's finished quilt. I'm going to come in the shot. This is, I tried to do it just as a like throw size, like a keep you, keep you warm on a chilly night type quilt, right? So it's uh, all flannel. I'm just going to leave it up here for a minute. I have some measurements. Now, I kind of winged it and made it to my own specifications, but there are <laughs> two layers of flannel in each block. So, it, and it's pretty heavy. Like this is actually really warm. Um, and then these are each eight inch blocks. And all you do is stitch them front sides facing each other because you want the seam allowance, which I used a one inch seam allowance, to fray and you have to um, snip it all up and then after you wash it it all frays and gets fluffy and I just love it I think it turned out super cute um, it ends up being about because each block then become they start out as eight inch blocks but they end up six inch blocks so there's seven going across one way and there's eight going across the other and I just did that because I, I just wanted it a certain size and I just added, I just made that many blocks. So I don't know if there's a standard size lap quilt, I guess that's what I'm calling it, considering it, or like a throw. That's what I wanted to make. Um, what else did I want to say? I just, I mean, it was simple. It's a lot of work because you have to like, you have to do all that cutting and um but other than that it's it's not it's just fussy work it's not like hard and there's a lot of leeway like actually i'm getting i'm getting better the back is just all pink but my corners are pretty lined up even for um there this quilt is really you don't have to um have your points on point <laughs> as much but i'm i mean it's not bad I'm pretty proud of myself. I did a good job. Um, and then I also made her this pillow. And it's just in the same style that I did. I've been doing all my pillows, except for on this one. I'm pretty sure I used four inch blocks. But, and I used a quarter inch seam allowance. So these are probably about three and a half. Let me grab my ruler. Um, but I just winged it again. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, there's three and a half. I just wanted to make sure I had one, two, three, four, five. So I wanted each of the fabrics in there. So I doubled up on, because I only used five fabrics, five colors. And um, so I just winged it. And you just make, this is a 16 inch pillow form. So you just buy the pillow form. Hopefully I'm in the shot. I'll sit down. You just buy the pillow form and they come pre-stuffed and everything. It has a zipper in it, so I mean, I'm, gu I'm guessing you could fill it yourself. And then you make this envelope pocket in the back. So that's basically, you can switch them out. But this is so soft, it's flannel. And I just love it. I hope she loves it. Maya's turning nine. She's my um, granddaughter. I did end up putting a um, binding on this one. On my Tim Holtz one, I just, I didn't have extra fabric. So on this one, I did the pink back like that, but I put the a blue binding. Because I had I love a lot of blue fabric. I didn't have any of the pink left, even after I bought extra. Um, but yeah, I just decided to add a binding to this, but you don't have to. And then you just take it and you fill one side and then you fill the other. So I think it's adorable. And now she has a comfy pillow and a comfy throw. All right, so that was pretty easy and I didn't end up filming any of it. I just don't have a good setup for um, my sewing machine and all that stuff. But um, I'm, I'm sticking with it and I'm already thinking about where I'm gonna set up my machine and everything so that I have, I think I might end up taking this 
cubby section here and put that up in our spare bedroom and just get a little sewing table and put it up in the spare bedroom. That way I don't have to take over the dining room because I do think it is something that I'm gonna to continue to do. Now that, because YouTube is makes it so much better. When I first started sewing and quilting, I went to classes because that's all that really was available. And YouTube is just, you can watch it over and over and over. And there's so many different teachers that you learn something different from each one. but. I'm showing you that because I think I'm going to make a little quilted wall hanging for up there because I'm kind of trying to decorate with everything I've made. Like this room is pretty much I've made everything in here. Like it, it, I don't know, not this like the lamp, the stained glass lamp I didn't make obviously, um, but the stained glass that's in the windows I did. And anyway, all right. So that's my quilt. And I'll keep keep you up to date because I do think maybe I'll do a tutorial for I'm gonna do like an applique quilt up there I think something along the lines of that little um, notebook cover that I made so I'll, I'll let you know all right you guys thanks for watching